All right, good afternoon. Welcome along to 90 Minutes Live Match Highlights. We are here at Clarence Park, home of uh, St Albans City, for the Norman Appleby Trophy Final. We've got Senior County League between West Mill, who are just here, and Everett Rovers, who are just down the other end. So, uh, hoping for a, uh, a good entertaining game here at Hawksby. We are hoping for a, a West Mill victory. So, uh, just to take you along here, see what's going on. Crowd is building up nicely. I'll uh, quickly show you what they are playing for. So, here is the trophy. The normal attribute trophy. Very nice. And, uh, yeah. So, do find us on social media. We are on X. Instagram, which is 90 Minutes the HR, and on Facebook and TikTok, which is 90 Minutes Live. So, uh, there's the uh, Everett Rovers warming up. So, before we get on with the match highlights, let's have a look at the two team lineups. Ego is assistant Ben Switchings and Daniel Hawkins and the fourth official is uh, in front of us getting soaked in Dave Chapman so away we go with uh, West Mill kicking from uh, right to left in their uh, red shirts black sleeves and uh, black shorts Everett Rovers in uh, yellow and black stripes with uh, black shorts and uh, immediately pushing the ball forward on that far side I think a linesman's flag would have gone up West Mill sorted out uh, at the back. For those of you that know Clarence Park, well, last time I was here was probably 1994, I think. And uh, the one thing that has changed is there's no longer a tree behind the goal away to the left hand side. But uh, the small stand that I'm in was still standing then, although there was uh, a large couple got out of Roy Race because they were uh, sponsored at the time by Roy of the Rovers. Everett coming forward, the shot fired in from that far side. It wasn't too far at all. Owen Swallows looked confident, but uh, I wasn't. I was going to end up in the back of the net. Taken on that far side by uh, the player who's done it. One thing I've noticed 38 commentary of the season. We've got a team here with white numbers. What's going on? <laughs> all on this near side. I think that Charlie Rome is going to get there in front of Brinton. And Charlie Rome already establishing himself as a danger. He's pulled back by Brenton. Referee lets it go. Puts it across the box. Bit of juggling by the old keeper Zach Green. But uh, in the end, he uh, will come away with the ball. I think. Uh, I think Brenton's going to get a yellow card from our referee, Mr. Benico. Here. Well, I did say last time we did our senior county league cup final. It was standing and Puckery. You beat Evergreen 3-2, which uh, didn't tell the story of a match where. Uh, Standard and Pugbridge were two down with 10 minutes to go. Ended up with nine men and won 3-2 in extra time. It was uh, still, I think, remains the most dramatic cup final I've ever seen in my life. As uh, Metzini brings the ball forward and uh, just trying to make their way down that uh, left-hand side as Swallows comes out and dives at the feet of Barry Bennett, who's uh, a decent record in this uh, competition. Harry Bennett scored a hat-trick with a beat at Hatfield Town in the quarter-final, which is uh, no mean feat, of course, with the season that uh, Hatfield Town have been having. But uh, Westmill have been picking off Premier Division sides in uh, this competition. I've uh, beaten quite a few as Swallows comes out again, dives to the referee's given a penalty. Well, Owen Swallows thought he got the ball. 
and referee Mr. Bonico didn't. It was the run through from Harry Bennett who we were mentioning. And well, would like to see that one again, I think. And Chris Meadows, the West Mill manager who's in front of us, he's not happy at all. But uh, it's going to be a penalty kick and a chance for Nicholas Curley to score his 35th goal of the season there. Can uh, Owen Swallows, who've got a yellow card in the midst of that, make amends and stop Everett Rovers going in front in the 10th minute. Well, the referee making sure players are uh, outside the area. A lot of fans thinking, where was VAR there, I think. But, uh, don't even get it at step four that we do every week. You're not going to get it down here, unfortunately. It would have been good to see if you did. Here he comes, and the penalty buried in the bottom right hand corner by Nick Curley for his 35th of the season. And Westville, Westville after 11 minutes, find themselves a goal behind. Gaffney puts the ball out for a throw in. I think Gaffney's one who's played on our level as well. He's a full dot town. As uh, the ball is headed inside that area, a shot fired in and blocked. It's pushed to the left hand side of the area and then miss hit. Wide of the target on that senior on that left hand side, and that was a real opportunity. Yeah. Fairly uh, easily cleared. Beatsmore gets ahead of Bennett on the half high line. Holmes is robbed of the ball, but Matt Moore will put it on that uh, far side for Callum Brown. Brown brings in Josh Holmes. Holmes' is ball across, free header, but there's a uh, linesman's flag up. Gaffney put it wide anyway, but uh, first uh, real sight of goal for uh, West Mill, although they can Gaffney have strayed into an offside position. Deep inside their own half. Oh, Brinson on this side with a bit of space in front of him. Plays the ball looking for Curley who uh, didn't react but Bennett did. Puts the ball across the box. Opportunity coming here for Roberts and he's put it wide. Another opportunity. And well, will they regret those missed opportunities later on in the game because that was another one that should have ended, yeah, should have ended up in the back of the net. Yeah. 20 minutes gone here. And they, uh, Trophy final, Hart Senior County League. And uh, it's been Everett Rovers who've had the best opportunities and they lead by a goal to nil. They've got another one here with Curley, their top scorer. Out comes the goalkeeper, plays it across. And Bennett has put it in the back of the net to make it 2 0. Westfield caught at the back. And this time there's no doubt about the goal. Controversial penalty, no doubt about that one. Harry Bennett's made it 2 0. Westmore has got a buy in the first round and then took out three Premier Division sides, Bush Hill Rangers and the Hartford Heath, both by 2 0 scorelines. And then Chipperfield Corinthians, a little bit nerve wracking, 2 2 draw, and they won 5 4 on penalties to take them through to their first ever cup final at this level. Thumped uh, against Aidan Gaffney and uh, Everett managed to get it back, but Lolly totally will send Charlie Rome going down this left hand side. Here comes the goalkeeper Green. Stretches out a leg, gives a round of applause from the Everett Rovers fans. But uh, West will have a throw in, taking quickly is Charlie Rome making his way into the area. Charlie still pulls the ball across. Oh, completely missed. And then coming in is Tom Burns, who fires it well wide of the target. And I think it was Josh Jones, the substitute there, who had a real opportunity and missed his kick. For a throw in, which uh, Aidan Gaffney has now for uh, Westmore. Oh, he shields the ball well. Good footwork by Gaffney. He's brought down, but the referee lets it go. And here on the edge of the area, shot fired in. And the first one from Josh Downs that's given Green anything to think about. The goalkeeper almost looked to be going the wrong way, but managed to uh, save it with his legs. But uh, at least a shot on target, the goalkeeper had to worry about. How long we've got to go at this level, so we're just going to have to guess. As uh, Bismol wins out of well on the halfway line, Downs manages to shrug aside McCluskey and come forward. Here is Downs, 
down, still going right hand side of the box. Needs some help, finds it from Josh Holmes. Here's Holmes, turns right, turns left, and then just shows too much of the ball on the edge of the area to River. And it's clear down this near side onto the halfway line with Roberts, and that's going to go the end of the action here in the first half at Parents Park. The range will lengthen a little bit. But it's been falling on Westmill because they go in at a half time, trailing by two goals to the end. Second half to get underway then. Everett Rovers kicking from left to right, leading by two goals to nil against uh, Westmill in the Norman Appleby Trophy final here at Clarence Parks and Organs. Westmill with it all to do in this uh, 45 minutes then. As uh, Josh Holmes picks the ball up, long ball forward. Either Charlie Roan, and uh, he seems to be a little more central. I don't know whether uh, they change things at uh, half time. Louis Devon going off, of course, in that first half. Coming forward here, though, but, uh, to uh, turn backwards and bring in Gaffney. Gaffney plays a high ball forward on this near side. Look at the Tom Burns who's come up from right back. But uh, in the end it uh, comes off his boot and goes behind for a goal. That is going to be a free kick on that far side. Charlie Roan has spotted the ball down to uh, take it. So uh, Beardsmore and Arnold have come up uh, from the back. Charlie Roan uh, delivery has been pretty good so far. But uh, we don't manage to get any red shirts on the end of it. Once again, it's another decent delivery into the box for the Rogers as that green back pedaling collects it and then bowls it out to Brinton. Holes forward on this near side, chips it forward. That's a good challenge by Tom Burns coming in. As Metzini looked to be making progress, but uh, Burns read it well, got there first. West Mill have got a uh, throw in far side. It's going to be Carl Beardsmore who will uh, take the uh, throw in and back to uh, looks see if he's going to try the long one and then go short to uh, Holmes who does well. Josh Holmes, Josh Holmes is then brought down his ears. Yes, he is. Uh, the referee looks like he's going to reach for his pocket there for, uh, for some reason. Free kick then for uh, Westmill. Good position this over on that uh, far side. It's going to be Charlie Rome who's uh, going to take it. He's going to curl it in nicely towards the far post and straight in. Charlie Rome gives West, West Mill hope and brings them right back into the game. Chris Meadows celebrates inside the technical area and the Miller back in it at 2-1. Charlie Rome scores his 15th goal of the season. His delivery has been really good from dead ball situations. And it was perfect from there. So Westmill right back in it. Everett Rovers led by two goals to nil, but that one from Charlie Rome means that uh, Westmill will keep up their record as well of only having failed to score in two games all season. As Brinton puts it across the box. Swallows, you've got to watch it, and he does. And in the end, it just drifts wide of the post with Bennett coming in. It's certainly a whole new aspect about this one. And it's going to be a throw in, which uh, Bidsmore will take on that uh, far side for uh, West Mill. And he finds its way to Matt Moore, does well to control it. It's Gaffney fires on the shot from uh, about 25 yards out. Doesn't get hold of it, and it goes uh, wide of the target on the way for a goal kick forward for Charlie Rome looks for the run of uh, Tom Payne on that far side Holmes is there as well but it's the pure who will go away and uh, do well to collect the ball he does a good job finds Curly on that far side Allen coming up from Baltimore well that was all or die he had to get the ball and in the end it's broken on the edge of the area for Thomas Horn to find it back to three. In goes Charlie Rome and Westmiller level. Oh my word. Horton and Green look at each other. 
They've emptied the bench for the deal, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Well, Green's turned around. But, uh, here come over at Rovers North Park side with Curly. Curly's ball across the box. Ooh, got behind for a corner. Yeah. I didn't see what the substitutes were when they left the pitch. But that's been a constant one. <laughs> Chance coming forward here. Shot fine. A good save by uh, Owen Swallows. Parries it away from the shot from Curly. Back inside that West Mill area. Bouncing about. And it's Tom Burns who flings out a leg and thumps it out of play on that uh, far side of the field. As, uh, the ball being wrestled and uh, Josh Holmes it comes away with it for West Mill. Josh Holmes still going, takes the ball on his near side, it's Aidan Gaffney, good save by Green. He comes out and keeps his team in it. Gaffney will get it back again, edge of the area, threads it through. Gaffney looking to get it back and then it's too clear on this near side. And if Zach Green made a real holix of it for the goal, he's certainly attuned for it there with that save from Aidan Gaffney. OK, goal pick from Zach Green, right hand side, 10 minutes to go. And the Norman Appleby Trophy final, it's been a horrible day weather-wise, but it's been a cracking match and a really big crowd are going to be entertained as three goes down. The, the goalkeeper's just about got it and Pakula manages to clear it. But, oh, all sorts were handling there. Matt Moore's got it from the throat from Tom Burns, parallel to the edge of the 18 yard area. That's a good cross, Heather goes in! It's got it in the back of the net! It's Josh Holmes who scored it! And Westville have come from two down to lead 3 2 at Clarence Park. The bench empties, and what a super cross and a lovely header to make it 3 2. Holmes, the hero of the moment, chips the ball inside, gets it back. But Kakula will go across. Oh, Holmes has beaten him to it. Josh Holmes on the side, brings it to the edge of the area as Aidan Gaffney. Good block came in on the edge of that area. Westman have still got it. Is Gaffney again pushes it through? A look for a lineman's flag, and the goalkeeper Green saved them again by pushing the ball away, it's still in that area. Charlie Brown nicks it across, goes over the head of Alfie Arnold, and there was a golden opportunity to uh, put the game to bed. Mm. As, long as, as long as it's not 54, I don't mind. Ah. Field time to be added on. The referee is sounding his whistle furiously, as he has been all afternoon. And, uh, I think he wants to make a name for himself in his last game of the season, Mr. Panico, if it is. He's now having a word with uh, Pusey, I think it is, from uh, Everett Rovers. Uh, Jay Pusey, for some reason or other. Not quite sure why. But, uh, is he? He's not sensing off, is he? I thought Pusey's going towards the sideline now. What's that all about? I think he's sent him off. I think he has sent him off. Everett Rovers is down the 10. Surely not. Long one. We'll carry on with that in a minute. It's Kersey oh. it, but just to the left of the post. Oh, Cousy on the far side walking around the pitch, puts his head in his hands. And the referee sent it off. West Mill standing on the brink of history. The little village club with the man with the pole who gets the ball out of the brook that runs down the side of it. It's a perfect setting for football and they've provided a perfect football. Not oh, as this afternoon, but the last few years have been a real credit to the local area as a village football team. And a big moment could be just seconds away. They've got to throw in down on this uh, near side, deep inside their own territory. The referee's looking at his watch. He's got his whistle in his mouth. And that is going to hit what's middle of the normal Appleby Trophy winners.
They come from two goals behind to win 3-2 here at Clarence Park. The bench emptied and there are the boys from the mill celebrating. It's commiseration to Everett Rovers who must have felt it was their day when they went in 2-0 up at a half time. But a double from Charlie Rowe and then the header from Josh Holmes with nine minutes to go means that West Mill are the champions. Yeah, I think you're uh, absolutely right with the trophies out there. Nice looking gap it is as well. And it's got the red and black ribbons of West Mill. And uh, they're all delighted out there, as they uh, should be. It's been quite a ride for this club. And still, they've got a promotion, of course. Three games left to go. And they've uh, put out Premier League teams all the way. Bush Hill Rangers, Hartford Heath, Chipperville Corinthians, and now Everett Rovers. So who says the team from Division 1 don't deserve it? Westville, can you make sure? Westville? Make sure the skipper goes up last, please, yeah? Oh, Get me instructions. Make sure the skipper goes up last. That's as if they've never, they never won a trophy before. Well done, I think Carl Bills will do exactly what to do. He's taking the other team as they go up to uh, get their medals. The team in red and black from West Mill. They've done us proud on 90 minutes live. It's great to be uh, associated. Our association with them goes back... Uh, four or five years now and uh, good to see another trophy for the boys in red and black and uh, if you want to get down to see them as I said they're at home this uh, coming Saturday against Hamilton Rovers and then uh, the following Tuesday against Harvington Sound Development six points out of nine needed for promotion cup double Carl Beardsmore was there but of course the skipper Third time lucky for Alvi Arnold. He missed the previous two through injury. And how sweet must this one feel for the man with number 24 on his back. Third time lucky for the skipper. And uh, taking his time. And uh, he's savouring the moment before he uh, lifts that trophy. And here we go. Well done, that's good. Those pictures will be appearing on the internet, we are sure, of the celebrations from West Mill Football Club with the trophy and the Norman Appleby trophy has been won by West Mill and uh, well if we could have finished that season we would have loved to have finished it with a playoff final of course but uh, second best way we could finish it was with a trophy with West Mill I think yeah absolutely and uh, we keep our record going in uh, all of the uh, Grassroots football, every cup final. We've had a winner so far. What more can you say? We're in town, the trophy comes our way. Well done, a West Mill.